Bonjour. Welcome to the Savage Kitchen. Today we will be learning a bechamel, to which we'll be adding these fine cheeses to be making a Rebecca de Monet. Or as I like to call it, Rebecca. It's my pet name for the Monet sauce. Do you no. know, really know what it is? I have no idea. You just said words and I'm talking. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about a bechamel, which we are going to expand and turn into a morning. Call it a Rebecca. No. Just for me. No, I'm not. Basically your bechamel, it's one of your five French mother sauces. It is a cream or milk thickened with a roux, which is just your flour and your butter. It's the base for many sauces. Like I said, we're going to turn it into the Mornay. You could do this into biscuits and gravy. Another thing, this is kind of the base of one of our next episodes, but we'll We'll talk about that later. Ooh, mysterious. Yes. You gotta get them to come back for some reason. So <laughs> no, it's not you. <laughs> All right, this one's really simple. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your butter. We got a pot over here on the stove. Get our butter in there. It's gonna take a minute, melt our butter down. We do want to cook the flour a little bit in with the butter, but you don't want to burn it. We're not really looking for a dark roux. And for any of you who uh, watched season one of The Savage Kitchen, you'll remember I commented often on Chef's use of butter and cream. As you can tell, I have Still then participated <laughs> in butter and cream over the last year. Thanks for that, Chef, introducing that into my diet. You're welcome. That's so delicious. All right, now we've got our butter melted. Like, so we're gonna go, we're gonna take our flour, just kind of whisk our flour into it. It's not gonna be real thick. But like I said, we're just gonna let this cook out. What you wanna do is cook a little bit of that starch out of the flour. Where does it go? Why well, should we say the starch flavor out of it? It really doesn't go anywhere. You see, it's kind of bubbling up. It's kind of what you're looking for. It doesn't take long to cook this out because we you're also going to cook your sauce. So when the, the sauce cooks, it'll also help get rid of some of that. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go in with our cream. I like to use heavy cream in a lot of my sauces. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's good. Actually, for pretty much when you're doing this, anytime you're working with a roux, you either want the hot roux in a cold liquid or the hot liquid with a cold roux. Because? Because that's the way it is. Especially working, like if you're, it'll, it'll create dumplings. You gotta be careful, because you want it to dissolve. Like what we got here, you can see it's starting to thick up. You gotta keep stirring it. The sauce will start to thicken. I'm gonna turn my heat down a little bit here because I don't want it to burn. Keep it to a nice little simmer. Simmer being nice small bubbles. Like I said, now what we've got to expand on this, we've got a little bit of blue cheese. So we're gonna do the blue cheese mornay, just a simple little blue cheese you can find in any grocery store. Doesn't have to be a real expensive one. If you want better flavor in your Mornay, go with a better, more expensive blue cheese. And then uh, also just to show you, you could, uh, we could also do like a smoked Gouda Mornay, mm. which would actually be really nice. Serve that on a pork chop or something like that. This blue cheese Mornay go really good with chicken. Uh, actually, it's something I used to serve. We used to do a chicken cordon bleu. And that was our twist on the cordon bleu. We didn't do it with a normal, you know, we stuffed it with, um, we stuffed it with blue cheese and Swiss cheese. A little bit of spinach, and then we served it with a blue cheese mornay. Delish. Oh, nice. So right now we're at a classic bechamel, mother sauce, yep. right here. But we're going to add cheese, and that makes it a mornay. Yes, sir. And leave it to the French. They couldn't just call it <laughs> bechamel with cheese. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not the same sauce. new name. Yeah, well, it's a different sauce, then. You've added another component to it. It's like you take hollandaise. You add tarragon reduction to it. What do you get? 
I have no idea. We went through this, Trig. Last season? Yeah. What do you get? I'm gonna make you find it out. There we have a nice bechamel. See how it's thickened up really nice? It'll coat the back of your, if we use this, coats really nice. And there, like I said, but there's not much flavor to it. You know, this is really just one of those base sauces. So where you're gonna get your flavor into this is what we're gonna let Trig do now. It's still good. But it's real, you know, it's, it's flour, butter, and cream. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let Trig play. Yes. So now we're going to go. Don't wanna burn my, Where's my cutting board? <laughs> and then with this, you can flavor it as much. Am as I putting it in? Yeah, go ahead, drop it in, and then you're gonna blend it in with your with your hand bun. Hand bun in first. A lot of it. Yeah, go. Good. Usually, you're the one that's just gonna dump it all in there. You make me nervous after we film for a while. Should be good. Basically, you just want to incorporate that cheese into it. So it's going to take a little bit. All right, you're good, you're good. Ooh. I hope you burn yourself. Mm -mm. Ow, that's on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all well, fun aside on that one. Here's a, that's a simple uh, bechamel turned into a Mornay. Do I have more on me? What no, is okay. you're great. Thank you. Well, chef, that was delicious. And folks, if you want to learn how to make your own bechamel and turn it into a Mornay by adding any kind of fine cheese, go to thecliffhouse.com and view all of season one and season two episodes that are out so far, and then share those videos on our YouTube channel with all your friends on Facebook, and help us get more fans, so that I can keep licking this sauce <laughs> in front of Chef. Yes, and uh, that hint of, well, on the next episode, we're gonna do a nice wild mushroom bisque, and in the bisque, where base sauce, your base for that sauce really is a, is a bechamel, so another another thing you can make with this sauce. Fascinating. Bonjour. <laughs> 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 <laughs>